And on the African continent, Dubai's Emirates has announced plans to resume flights to Lagos after the Central Bank of Nigeria released a portion funds the airline had earned in the country but had not been repatriated. An airline spokesperson said flights to Lagos will resume from the 11th of this month, though it will not resume flights to Abuja this month. Here are the details of this and other stories making headlines across the continent. Before suspension of flights to Nigeria, Emirates had reduced its flights in Nigeria from 11 to 7 per week. It had earlier indicated it will stop flights from 1st of September to limit further losses and impact on its operation costs. The Nigerian government owes Emirates $85 million it made from ticket sales. Last week, the Central Bank of Nigeria released $265 million to airlines operating in the country to prevent a crisis in the aviation sector. The shortage of the dollar has made it difficult for the bank to settle the debt. British Airways too has reduced its flights over failure to recover funds. Elsewhere, the International Monetary Fund has approved a $1.3 billion loan to Zambia. This will be a 38-month loan program meant to help Zambia restore economic stability and foster higher and more inclusive growth as the country was dealing with years of economic mismanagement and its growth rates were too low to tackle poverty, inequality and malnutrition. As part of the terms of the loan facility, Zambia is required to tackle corruption, eliminate fuel subsidies and make agricultural subsidies more efficient. Finally, the first shipment of grains from Ukraine to Africa since the Russian-Ukraine conflict arrived in Djibouti and has begun unloading. According to the World Food Program, it took the ship loaded with 23,000 tons of Ukrainian wheat two weeks to arrive in the Horn of Africa country. The WFP says after the ship was unloaded at the port in Djibouti, the wheat will be transported to Ethiopia and is expected to feed some 1.53 million people there for a month. The arrival of urgently needed grain came after Ukraine and Russia reached a deal with the United Nations and Turkey last month to open a corridor allowing for food shipments. According to WFP estimates, about 22 million people People are experiencing acute hunger in the Horn of Africa region, comprising eight countries, including Djibouti, Ethiopia, and Somalia. Reporting for Lunchtime News, I'm Terry Njenga.